streaming, I should double check that. Oh, this isn't streaming. Okay then. Turn down the in-game audio just a little bit. Um, hopefully my voice can still be heard. But without quitting back out, checking the VOD again, or calling in a friend, um, I won't be able to tell. I do have a, a friend that I pinged, but uh, he might be busy at the moment. So let's see. You know, I like this game, but sometimes it does feel like it drags on a bit. So I like the events. Well, after the, the buff. Uh, before then, the events were, I want to say, at least 50% bad. It was, well, kind of bad. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Pop over here. This is starting more damage. Scratch him for more damage. Kick him to the side for even more damage. Yep. And he's actually probably dead.
bad, so that gunshot would never come. Okay, three turns. Uh, hmm. Wow, this is awkward. Okay, okay. So I can take the nine damage. Five plus four for me. Right, right, lost the free movement. I really can't tell my audio is good enough. Like, 
like I'm speaking louder right now, but I don't think I can keep this up this whole stream. I'm kind of a quad guy, you know? Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I got a movement ability. Um, get this three punch combo. Get the scratch. Okay, good chunk of damage, and thankfully I left just enough momentum to GTFO. Yep, you're gonna help me kill your boss. Okay, unless you guys do that. In which case, it might get a little harder. To make it yeah, I don't mind. A jumping stab. Actually, why is that grapple weak? die for bleed and getting shot by his own buddy. How fitting. 20 health. Yay. Well, this is, uh, this is better than I remember seeing before. Okay, uh, that, that could potentially be good. You know, I'm gonna take this. I keep taking damage, so, yeah. Yes, I know. I take damage, but I still think medical is terrible. I leave enough for 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 option play. I can at least move out of the way. Slash scratch. Yeah. So jumping stab needs two spaces. Can't be one. Can't be more than one. Exactly two. Bit unfortunate, but whatever. I'm still alive. Yeah. I'm not gonna jump back in. This guy will hit me pretty hard. Actually, I've been pointing at stuff moving around my mouse, but I suppose you can't actually see. 
in my mouse cursor, you just see what I'm selecting. Ah, well. My buddy messaged me on Steam telling me my audio is bad, so uh, let's, uh, let's up that a little bit. Alright, um... Okay, I boosted the audio a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't distort everything and hopefully I could be a little more easily heard. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep going now. Shotgun dudes, uh, with armor. Pierce might come in handy, especially if I pair it with Hidden Blade. My object is to get two enemies killed by enemy attacks, um, so I'm going to be lying on the shotgun guys, but man, they're kind of annoying to use. Okay, what I should have done was dash over here, did some damage to this guy, then got all the way so he would get shot. 
Oh well. And I just shoot through my combo again. Thankfully, I don't have a built-in knees combo, and I got the three punch combo. That's great. Oi, I really need movement ability. I can get out of the way of the shot, but then I can't really do any damage. I could grapple this guy and throw him in here, but I'm still going to ca take four damage from the from the pushback. Okay, whatever. My health is high, and yeah, I got a belt to recover health. This will be fine. Let's see, let's do some math. Snap strike, increase my uh, attack. 12 damage. So he would have 12 left. He would take 8 damage from the shotgun and 4 more damage from bumping to me. I think that should be good. Should be. And of course, let's grapple him so he'll actually get shot. And use this getting ready for next turn. Okay, this works out. Um, just gotta do some damage to this guy and then right kick him out of the way. Uh, my less spin kick was my stronger attack. And my right spin kick is weak enough that he won't die from the bleed, thank goodness. I was about to use Kaltross, but then he would die from the bleed, and I wouldn't get the enemy killed by enemy attacks. Well, I can still play with these two, I guess, but it's kind of annoying manipulating those two. Alrighty. Yep, got those. Now I just gotta kill these guys, old fashioned way. Okay, he still did the bleed. The damage took out all his block tail. Yeah, I guess I need to use all my attacks. Alright, then he'll die to bleed. Hmm. Okay, I can't push him out the door away. Whatever, let's just kill him. I didn't actually do the math, but Grapho should help me out if... I mapped it wrong. Yep, I mapped it wrong. Mapped it wrong. Hey, maybe I'll kick him out the door after all. Let's see which way he goes. That wall. Alright, alright. That's fine. I'm not actually sure I can kill this turn. Oh, hidden blade, because, um, yeah, that's been kicked, but I should do enough damage to block, break through his, uh, block. Scratch doesn't do any damage at all, so, yeah, it, <laughs> Scratch is useless in this case. Armor guys are pesky for this deck. Yep, can't finish him off. Go die next turn, regardless of what I do. Yep, not gonna look at my cards, it's gonna end turn. Done. Uh, no, this 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 is this isn't going to be helpful. No, I'm not getting it. Because on this prison stage, I'm going to try and get past enemies as fast as I can, and I'm gonna fail. Ah, uh, momentum boost is so useful though. Always these four pesky 
guys. Freaking auto attack dude, punchy dude, and the two shotgun guys. These guys are so annoying. See, I can't make use of the swap because, I mean, I, I have to use swap to get out of this. I can't make use of the free movement. It's aggravating. Okay, so I guess I could have built up enough common to use change attack here, but I'm, I'm gonna lose this simply from how much I'm trying to move. It sucks. <coughs> right, that was dumb. Um, the bleed went, didn't do anything anyway. Get beat. These shotguns, they're gonna get in my way. The pushback is gonna be really annoying, and the fact that their fat bodies block my path too. I say fat, but honestly, every enemy will block your path. See, look at this guy. This jerk. I mean, I can get past this guy, but seriously, get that briefcase in three turns, it's not happening. This stage bothers me so much. Also, I'm just gonna hit you because you guys are upsetting. Okay, well he's gonna hit me anyway, and unless this guy does something insane... Actually, no, I think I got it. I think I got it. Still, I'm just gonna hit him because he upsets me. Okay, well, this is a little unfortunate. Well, now I'm just mad, because you see, I could get to the briefcase, but this, this is a lethal drop right here. I get pushed past here, I die. This guy's gonna push me, because anything that I could use to deal with him, will cancel out this free movement. I'm actually pretty upset right now. <laughs> I'll at least get my money. Yeah, even though those killing blow accounts because it would have knocked him out. N knocked him out of the stage, I mean. So I believe that momentum boost will have increased my max momentum, not my um, momentum per turn. But still, it's useful because oftentimes you will have one left forward momentum, especially if you can't do anything in a turn.
Okay, I should pay attention to chat more. Um, yeah, I didn't even notice anyone responded. Again, I'm playing on one screen, but I have this this game windowed, which is why there's the funny borders on the side. Basically, so I can see chat on the corner of the screen or on one edge of the screen. But man, I'm still butthurt about the briefcase. Stage does this to you all the time, but it doesn't make it any less upsetting. Oh, I should have did the jumping stab. I was not thinking. Well, whatever. I don't have time limit anymore. Just gotta kill them good. Also, hey, buddy, if you're still here, um, how's the audio now? I boosted the the mic a little bit. Went to the the studio options. I'm not using OBS. I heard OBS you could actually boost it by like 100%. Um. Yeah, I turned down the game volume down to like 70%, and I boosted the, the mic a little bit. Okay, let's just kill these guys. Okay, you're dead from bleed. You, uh, have a ways to go. And I don't want to get hit anymore, so I'm gonna take it slow. Also, Scratch wouldn't do anything anyway. You're dead. Okay, okay, um, yeah, I think he's dead this turn. Wow, I was not thinking. <laughs> uh, I should have used the combo stab. Oh well. Okay, I can stop being tilted and play normally now. Yeah, see, this kind of upset me. random long-term injury I got. Um, I have less money than I I'd like, but let's upgrade some stuff. And this just to cut down the momentum costs. And then now everything's gone up in price. Snap strike. Increases damage for all attacks turn by two. And I think only it goes down by one per turn too, so um, uh, I think I have a damage bonus for two turns. Hopefully. Either way, Snap Strike is pretty nice. Doesn't cost any momentum. Ah, uh, this uh, prison cafeteria stage. Not great. Those tables will get in the way. <clears throat> yeah, so these shotgun dudes, they have this annoying habit of being on the other side of a table, trying to shoot at you. That's fine. The problem is, you see this? I have six turns to kill six enemies. This guy is tanky as all heck. These guys have block. Yeah, the chef with a cleaver. So sometimes when you see like a damage number like three times six or whatever, like it's because they're attacking multiple spaces. This guy's only attacking one space. He actually attacks three times, will do 80 damage. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying. Ideally, I'd get him over here and just kick him out the doorway, but uh, I got nothing to push people around right now. Okay, well, I can push him around a little bit. So, swapped here. He's facing me, but he's, he's going last, so this guy will push him out of the way with a shotgun. Now, to stack the bleed. And I'm out of momentum because the upgrade slash does more damage, does more bleed, and causes zero mem momentum. Yeah, take that, jerk. 
And I think he'll die next turn from bleed, so I can stop worrying about him. See what I mean? He's on the other side of this freaking table. That's just. Ah, frustrating. Okay, well, at least I can get to this guy, but I can't make use of the, the instant kill space on the exit. Incredibly frustrating. Uh, I want to use the cow drops, but this guy's gonna hit me real hard if I do. Cow drops will do a little bit of damage to these guys, regardless of their block. Oh, this is frustrating. Maybe I should have taken the risk, but honestly, having one HP left is dangerous as all heck. Really wish I had a swap ability right now. Hey, what the heck is this? I don't think I have a way to get out of this mess. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit by that guy either way. This is... This is gonna be annoying. Let's see, I can move once. Nothing else really lets me move. Front gate only lets you move if they're too far away to hit. Uh, shove doesn't do anything in this case because I can't shove this thing into his face. Also, shove only lets you push things to the side. This is incredibly aggravating. <laughs> Block, I can at least survive. <sighs> yeah, I can't jump over the table. There's one movement card that lets you vault over tables, but now there's something on the other side. It can be a little frustrating sometimes. I wish that you could, um, like, use up your attack cards or just use up your momentum to get, like, an extra move or something like that. Because having to draw a movement card is kind of frustrating. There's, the difficulty settings have stuff like guarantees that you draw a movement card, but it doesn't apply to this deck because I get that basically a free move at the start of every turn. Okay, uh, let's try to math this out a little bit. Let's see. So he's dead if I so much as poke him. Now or I can just shove him out of the way. Uh, okay, so if I do the left spin kick on this guy, which does a considerable amount of damage, this guy will hit me first, I get shoved over here, I, and then I get shoved over here from the shotgun. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I can't decide, this sucks. Okay, you die. You take damage. I don't know why I used the snap strike last. That would have boosted my damage. That would have been real useful. Oh well. They're still gonna do damage to each other. Another stabby guy. It's the shotguns that are the problem. And how little time they give you. Look, I'm down to three turns, I only kill two enemies. Boy. Okay. Is gonna cut through my block either way. I guess I didn't. I guess I did a good thing by not risking it and letting my HP drop down to one. I can't use shift because there's no space on the other side of this dude. That's a wall, and there's no space on the other side of this guy because of freaking tables. Let's see. Okay, well this guy will be killed a turn after next. 
This guy needs to go. See, this is freaking horrible. But this guy's dead. got block even though it normally would even though okay if unblocked probably won't work <sighs> I got no room for jumping stab this this would have helped oh this sucks oh this sucks so bad <laughs> Shove this guy out of the way, and then use the swap card to move over here. <sighs> I just want to see if there's some way for me to get this complete the stage in two turns because money is valuable. Yeah, yeah, it's not winnable in two turns. Screw these guys. stage was going to be hassle, but I don't think I had a lot of choice. I guess I'm taking it slow. Not much I can do. These guys and these tables. I seriously need ability that lets me just leap over a table and kick someone in the face. I get to be uh, really mean to this guy and uh, front kick him out of the way. Let's see. Well, no, but I mean, I'll still take this. gives a bigger reward if you pull it off. See, another card that involves downed enemies. I don't have anything that can down an enemy right now. Sure, let's grab this. See what happens. Chance of a heal. 
Although, because of this uh, enhancement, I would heal 12, assuming I make it through both fights unscathed. Let's go through the event. See, what is this? 66% to add a random card. That might not be useful, that could just clutter your deck. Chance to lose 8 health. I would actually die from that. Screw this. Okay, possible healing stage. I just gotta keep the dude alive. Okay, so in this stage you have an informant. Mechanically, it's a regular enemy that you don't have to kill, and he'll give you HP at the end of the stage if you don't kill him. Um, Story-wise, I think he's uh, you know trying to keep up the axe, so he's trying to beat you up, hoping that you're that you're skilled enough to not kill him and take out everyone else. He's a pesky auto attack dude, though. Oh, I should have. I should have moved over here. Grappled this guy. Put him in here. He would have gotten hit a lot. Okay, I walk this way. I'm just gonna get beat on a whole lot. So, um... God, I can't do anything. Okay, so I was gonna. I was gonna take two hits either way. And I'll barely survive it. Um, because either this guy and this guy would attack me, or this guy will auto attack me and then attack me again on his turn. Might as well get some damage in, right? Got a bit of bleed in, and he's gonna get chopped. I'm just dangerously close to dead though. 4 HP. I screw this up, I'm done. Like, if I had decided to attack instead of move. Actually, it's not even upgraded. But even if, if it was, I don't think I could kill this guy. So let's just get out of the way. Okay, now he wants to heal. get past an enemy so that that helps okay he's gonna die from bleed okay okay I was not thinking that through am I dead no I'm not actually okay yeah the bleed will kill I forgot this guy will turn to face me Huzzah, got 15 health back. Eh, could be useful. Mm, too dangerous currently for me. And again, another down ability. I know there's lots of down abilities, but I don't have a way to actually down an enemy. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting it. Actually, no, that could be helpful. It only costs one as well. Um...
No, not for now. I need more movement abilities. Upgraded card, which means I think the money reward is a lot of money. Hopefully. This guy will counter incoming attacks. I jab him, he will uh, slap me with his belly. Knife dudes, if only had a swap. Yeah, I should have picked up some more movement abilities. Look at this, I, I can't do squat without taking buttloads of damage. did was never mind no that that works that works have I shown the belly ball probably not but we'll see it soon this guy's dead anyway but this just looks dangerous. You must attack for then turn or lose health and combo. Sometimes I move into a spot where I can't attack. <sighs> yeah, cow traps are well, you know what a, <laughs> you know what the D4 dice looks like, right? 
I mean, that that's basically the idea, except sharper. Uh, th they basically make it so that someone chasing you, um, well, either they're gonna stab their feet like crazy, and you know that 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 usually makes people kind of stop running after you, or they're gonna have to carefully walk through the area. Uh, it is an item in uh, tabletop role-playing games like Pathfinder. Oh man, this looks dangerous, but I kind of want it. <sighs> You know, I'm just gonna get more block. Okay, so another chance to get the momentum boost. I'm going for it. Yeah, I mean, all the stages are this size. I mean, supposedly you're playing a lawyer, but I mean, what are you doing running through the shower room, being attacked by... Prisoners have stolen ride gear for crying out loud. Like, where are the actual prison guards? Well, actually, they've probably been knocked out or killed, so that's why you're not worrying about your cover being blown. Excuse me. Just had a sandwich. Yeah, this is just one stage. I might stop streaming after this. Got an errand to take care of at one. Accent logic. I don't know if Agent Eleven has any facts or logic. He's the kind of guy to uh, drop one-liners before you know punching someone into a wall or something. I wasn't even looking at my objectives. Thankfully, there's no have enemies kill each other objectives. Because right now, I'm... Yeah, I'm not going to even explain what I'm doing. All the cars are falling to place. I could kill people a whole bunch and get out of the way. It's great. like those I think this game is really amazing. Okay, I was about to get greedy there. Not smart. Yeah, I should have pushed them over here so they'd be shooting each other again. Oh well. Okay, I got enough defense abilities. Uh... Or not, I'm actually gonna take a bit of damage. It's okay, I'm back up to 30 health. This this buff that gives me 6 HP at the end of each fight, man, that's that's actually pretty useful. And he's got a knife. Uh, I forgot about that. Took a lot of damage there. Oh, counter stun counter stun has a range of two, that's that's awesome. More health than I like. Okay, he's gonna die from bleed. He's gonna die from bleed. And you, sir, are gonna bleed a little bit more. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I got a little boost from the snap strike, so yeah, that actually killed him. Funny. I was gonna say come at me bro, but uh, he's not coming. Oh, 
Oh, he fully blocked that. I feel silly. Let's just kick him to the wall. Now let's punch him again. And wow, 1 HP. Thankfully, I have one last turn. Not that I need to upgrade my combo, and there's not much I'm doing with a high combo count other than making sure I can use these abilities like within a few turns of the fight. Range is actually still pretty dangerous. Like it causes all kinds of trouble. I don't even know how I deal with diagonal shots. <laughs> this stack is funny when you pull it off. This could be useful with the stack, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing enough damage, but still, I don't know about this one. Fine, let's grab it. This might be another get to the briefcase with annoying enemies with shotguns in your way. Thankfully, the path is a little wider. Okay, there's no briefcase. What is this? Complete level on 8 turns. Okay, okay. And get combos. Okay, this, sh this should be fine. Just fine. If I get pushed off, that actually is an instant death. I can't do squad combo abilities all across the board. Uh, and I have to get hit by this guy, that's annoying. Ugly. Do I have a block? No, I does not. Annoying. Taking way too much damage. Oh, I should have. I should have jabbed him first. What was I thinking? Oh, got my combo up too. And a big boy. Okay, well that's gonna make the whole beating this stage next number turns a little harder. Oh, that's it. It's game over. I don't have any block. This guy's just going to auto attack me. Swap. He'll face me, so, uh, okay, actually, no, 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 I, I'd still survive this. Maybe. Maybe. No, it's not gonna happen, because I can swap with this guy. 
then I'll have two shotgun guys facing me. Uh, free move, I can't do free move afterwards, because free move is removed from my hand when any other card is played. Basically, this deck gives you free movement so that at the beginning of each turn, you have a move. I can't use a second. So, okay, let's calculate it. So I, so this swapping with this guy won't get me anywhere. Swapping with this guy, I could right spin kick that guy out of the way, but then I have to deal with this guy. And I don't think I do it. Snap strike, so that's six, and that'll increase my damage by two. Six, um, four, twelve. 12 plus 15, 27. I'm just short. Actually, wait. Wait, wh what am I talking about? I have right. Oh, never mind. Right spin kick. kick. Yeah, I'm just short. Okay, my map was even more off than I thought, but um, either way, I wasn't going to survive. Yep, see? I used up every card in my hand. I still couldn't do it. Okay, well, that's the end of that. I get the feeling that when I stream, I'm probably going to play games like this. Stuff that could be... Um... Okay, well, this one, it's a bit long to play the, the whole game in a single sitting. But, you know, stuff that can be taken, like, one stage at a time. Something like this, or FTL, maybe Phasmophobia, maybe Apex. I might actually stream from my PS4, um... Dishonored 2. Never did a... a No Powers run. I did something similar in Dishonored 1, though, so that might come up. But yeah, this is it for now. I guess I'll check the VOD, see how the, the, the audio is, and we'll see how this goes next time. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Later.